Okay, to my left, the gentleman in the white shirt and tie. Yeah, thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Kambale Musavuli. I'm um, from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, my question is for all journalists of color uh, in regard to my country. 45,000 people die every month, and I think it's a trustworthy news for journalists of color to cover it. Since 1996, we've had 6 million people have died. That means every five months, there are four happen in my country. Why is, that, why is there a silence around what's happening in the Congo, realizing that everyone in here has a cell phone which contains coltan, which is in the Congo. 80% of the world reserve of coltan is in the Congo. But how come is there a silence around the murder in the Congo? I think I'll throw that to Les, who's had extensive uh, reporting experience from Africa. Well, I, I think covering Africa uh, uh, continues to be a, a terrible problem that tends to be uh, looked at as a basket case. I mean, we hear Darfur, we hear one issue at a time. I mean, a lot of attention to the degree that there is attention is focused on, say, Darfur at the moment. I agree with you, Congo is very interesting. Well, uh, Zimbabwe comes in for coverage. I, I think it is one of the, one of the weaknesses of, of uh, foreign correspondence, you know, and, and, you know, there's no question but that you make uh, a great point about the Congo. And, you know, I guess one just has to keep petitioning foreign correspondents, foreign editors to pay more attention. Um, and I've also, also reported from the continent, and I think one, one factor that also affects coverage of Africa is the degree to which white people are affected. Uh, when there are not many white people affected often, and it's not totally the case, but put it this way, the more white people are affected in Africa, the more likely that particular situation will be covered. And, and just one additional point, you mentioned the uh, coal tank being uh, mined in the Congo, which it is, which brings up the point of the, uh, use, and using cell phones, it brings up the point of, the, of technology. With the technology of what it is, with citizen journalists being what they are, I think that there is a, and with the internet being present, I think we have to think of a new paradigm, a new broader paradigm, which does not rely upon the foreign editor of Newsday, since I will start there. Actually, Newsday no longer has a foreign desk, but that's another story. Uh, but, I, but I think that citizen journalists, people with cell phones, Congolese themselves, uh, Congolese who are in this country, for instance, should begin to expand that coverage. I think with Internet, it is possible, and let's step it up that way. We're just about